chief instructor and trainee must decide together which of many careers will suit him best. In Sheldon's laboratory, one of today's jobs is testing wagon couplings to destruction. A minimum strength of at least 110 tons must be proven. Less dramatic tests are carried out on quarter-inch sample test pieces. Children's drop forge. Traditional it may be, but no one has yet found a better way of making carriage coupling books. Norman must decide whether he wants a white-collar job or whether blue overalls are more in his line. dirty day, but clean away perhaps to a pint in the workshop club. This private club at Children's was designed and paid for by the men themselves. A nice cold beer set against a background of engineering history. Human engineering has its place too. Knowing something about one's body is useful for an accident-free career in this safety-conscious organization. Now, take this on a more serious note. The lecture this morning will be on the structure and function of the body. But Norman will attend many lectures and learn many skills. For the jobs the workshops tackle while serving the railways range as widely as his own imagination. Norman may dream of possible jobs. At Ashford, perhaps, which specializes in the very rapid turnout of Freightliner wagons. Ten 60-foot wagons a week, ready for mounting with Derby-built containers. International standard containers in 10, 20, 30 and 40-foot modules are causing radical changes in the transport of goods. they need special handling gear. And this is built at Doncaster for the railway's own design.
straight liner wagons, containers, and cranes are a large and growing business looking for outside orders. Export ones too, confident in the competitive edge given by up-to-date equipment. Such machines are costly, especially when there are many workshops to be equipped. They can only be economical with optimum use, not only in terms of output, but in the planning of workloads and order book schedules. So the workshops are using only the most highly developed methods of cost accounting. Even the smallest job must be quoted at full cost in competitive tendering. The motto of this machine might be, I can cut anything you can draw. Drawings are produced in the design centre at Derby for all the workshops. Norman will learn drawing too at Technical College during the day release periods which every works training school must fit into its programme. No matter how efficiently manufactured, no product can be better than its design. So, continual efforts are made to improve every single detail. This is the latest in a long series of bogey designs under construction at Crewe. Extreme precision in manufacture helps the bogey to give a smoother ride. This electronically controlled machine enables the operator to position his drill with the accuracy of a thousandth of an inch, or a tenth hour if need be. With a combination of pneumatic, hydraulic, and spring damping, these bogies give the smoothest ride ever, helped by a studiously designed wheel profile. Morning, lads. This morning's lesson, we're going to look at the arrangements of gearing that we need to enable us to cut a screw thread. Now, I'd like your five lads on the front bench to come forward and have a look at this arrangement of gearing. In the classroom, instruction is geared very closely to everyday workshop problems. Now you'll notice that both the markers are in the top position. Now heavens, if you will rotate the driving gear to one revolution and observe the distance which the bottom gear, that is the gear being driven, travels through the one level to the top. Practical training provides a grounding in every craft skill. Britain has recently woken up to the importance of industrial training, but the workshops have had highly organized training programs for 30 years or more. Valuable in itself, it helps trainees to discover where their interest and aptitude lie. still painting like this in 1962. But Wolverton shows how things have advanced. Smart outside and inside too. Ergonomic design tailors carriage interiors for the greater comfort of their passengers, and critical path planning helps to achieve flow production of a vehicle of many parts. 
outwardly simple, a carriage needs heating, plumbing, insulation, lighting and soundproofing built into an integral structure of steel. Doors. Doors opening, doors slamming. Every minute, day and night. 